Hey what's up bros, NZG here, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video and before we get any further into this video I just want to say to you bros that I haven't uploaded this method yet or this glitch yet, this is actually the mass duplication glitch. Um, this is the first time you bros will be seeing this on YouTube and you'll probably see a text tutorial of this uh, in two days from now on Seven Sins with some other person saying that he's the founder. But uh, yeah, this is the first video of this on YouTube anyway. I am the founder of this glitch and a couple of my mates did help me find the glitch that um, you use to get all of these pelts, which is the carcass duplication glitch. And I will be linking that right up in the top corner right now. So if you bros haven't seen that carcass duplication glitch, um, well then you can go ahead and click on that. It is still working. You want to go ahead and get yourself a whole bunch of uh, pelts okay you want to get a whole bunch of pelts because this is going to work with pelts this mass duplication so you want to go ahead and be in your friends posse so first of all we're going to go ahead and duplicate ourselves like five or six pelts or six or seven pelts um, and then once you've done that you want to get your friend to send you a posse invite and then you're just going to be in your friend's posse once you accept that invite and once you have done that, what you're going to do is you're going to get your friend to just hang outside here and you're going to run into the stable. And while you're in the stable menu like this, um, I'm going to show you right now what your friend is going to go ahead and do. So the posse leader is just going to go ahead and throw down all of the pelts that you've duplicated outside the stable while you are inside the stable. Okay, so you want to go into the stable and then while you're in the stable, you want to get your friend, the posse leader, to just throw down all the pelts outside the stable. And then once he's throwing down the last pelt, he's going to tell you, I've thrown down the last pelt. You can go ahead and hit the glitch, bro. So what we're going to go ahead and do to hit the glitch is we're going to press the PlayStation button one time, go down to overview on Red Dead Redemption, and we're going to join someone from this list here. It's going to bring up a black alert. Once we're on that black alert, we're going to press the PlayStation button one time again and go up to the party. And then when we're in the party, we're going to join session on our friend. And you just want to keep spamming X until you see the clouds, then you can stop spamming X. And then what should happen is you should spawn down into a random public lobby. And then when you spawn down into that random public lobby, you should see some pelts here on the ground. You might not see all of them, but you should see some of them. Okay, if you don't see all of them, I'm going to show you bros how we can kind of fix that later on. But if you see some pelts outside here, you're going to run into the stable while you're in this random lobby. You're going to go to vehicles. And then once you bros go down to vehicles, you're going to click on that. And then you're going to, once you click on that, you're going to go ahead and click on manage own vehicles. Then you bros just want to hover over your hunting wagon. And then when you're hovering over your hunting wagon, you're going to back out of the stable. And you should come out of the stable in your hunting wagon. So obviously make sure your hunting wagon is empty before you do this and once you've done that you also want to make sure you are in defensive mode to so you don't have to change it to defensive mode all the time just get your friend to change the posse to defensive mode so make sure you get the posse leader to change it to defensive mode if not you bros can just change it to defensive mode as soon as you spawn in the lobby but once you've taken the hunting wagon out you want to go ahead and place all of these pelts so we are still in the random lobby right here. So once we've placed all the pelts in the back of the hunting wagon, we're just going to head towards Gus. So the closest Gus to us is just like this way, and we're going to keep following this dirt road um, all the way east, and then we're going to run into Gus. And when we get to Gus, you bros are just going to sell the pelts. Okay, so we only have four this time, but we do crack five in this video, so stick around to see how we do that. Once you sell those four pelts, you want to go ahead and just join back to your friend from here through the invitation that they sent you through play together. So it should look something like that. You want to go ahead and click join and you should join back to your friend. That is the posse leader standing outside the stable. And if you join back through that invitation that they sent through the play together in the party for PlayStation 4, well then you bros should join back into the lobby and you will already be in the posse you won't have to join back to your friend's posse uh, once you've done that so these two here on the far right are the ones that did not merge over to the random lobby so we're going to go ahead and tell our friend to just pick those two up and 
throw them ones back down on the ground. So just those two on the far right, he's going to pick them up and throw them down. And once he's done that, we're going to go back to this now playing list here, this, this short list here of now playing players. And then you're going to join someone from there. And when the black alert comes up, you want to go back to the party and spam X on join session of the posse leader. Okay, keep spamming X until you are in the clouds. And once again, just like before, you're going to come down from the clouds and you should spawn in front of the stable. If you don't spawn in front of the stable, then tell your friend to get out of the way of the doors because that's why you didn't spawn in front. But you should notice once we spawn back in this lobby, we're now going to have four pelts or five pelts. Sorry. So obviously we want to get our hunting wagon out again. But before we do that, this time we're going to go to online options and we're going to change to defensive mode. Just because we are in tumbleweed in a random public session and, you know, there's probably people fighting and someone might come over and kill you. And you don't want that to happen because if you bros spawn away from these pelts, like if you die and spawn away from these pelts, they will despawn. So once again, hover over your hunting wagon and then back out of the stable. And then you should exit the stable on that hunting wagon. I just want to apologize right now for this video being so long because I know it is a little bit long, but I do just want to explain to you bros that this is definitely 100% worth it. And I want to make sure you bros can do this mass duplication glitch uh, just like how I can do it. So obviously once you take the hunting wagon out, you're just going to go ahead and load all of these pelts into the hunting wagon. So we'll try and fast forward a little bit of this so we don't have to watch for, watch me um, put them all in there real slow but I just fast forward a little bit not too much because I do like chuck it in eight times fast forward further on in the video but once you place these five pelts in the back of your hunting wagon you're just going to hop on that hunting wagon again and take it down to Gus now in this time make sure that your friend the posse leader in the other lobby is watching the pelts make sure he keeps his eye on the pelts at all times Okay, so they oh, they will despawn. Once you get to Gus, you're going to go ahead and now sell him these five pelts. So it's that simple. And once you've sold Gus the five pelts from this lobby, you're just going to go ahead and back out of Gus. And now once you've done that, you bros just want to go to your PlayStation dashboard. And then once you go to your PlayStation dashboard, you're going to go up to notifications. And when you bros get in there, you want to look for your friend's invite. It should look something like this. And you want to accept that invite that he sent through the play together in the party. And then, like I said, if you accept that invite that he sent you through the play together in the party before we started doing the glitch, you bros should spawn into your friend's lobby uh, right next to him at the stable. You should still be in his posse. If for some reason you're not in your friend's posse, just rejoin into their posse. But as you can see, all of the pelts are here again. So all I have to do is run into the stable, go back to the PlayStation dashboard and join someone again from this now playing list here. And then once this black alert comes up, you bros want to hit the PlayStation button one more time. Go back to the party and spam X on your join session of the posse leader. Keep spamming X until you're in the clouds. Okay, once you're in the clouds, you can start spamming X. You should spawn back down in another random lobby. Once again, you want to enter defensive mode so nobody kills you. Head into the stable. And once you get into the stable, go to vehicles. Once you get into vehicles, go to owned vehicles. And then when you go to owned vehicles, you want to just go and hover over hunting wagon and then back out of the stable and you will exit the stable on the hunting wagon. So from here, you're just going to go ahead and put like all these five pelts in the back of your hunting wagon once again. So this time we will like really, really speed it up a bit because the video is getting on. But once you put like the five pelts in the back of your wagon, you're just going to head down to Gus and sell these pelts. And then you're just going to yeah keep doing the glitch over and over again to get five pelts in your wagon every like five minutes. I hope you bros did enjoy the video. If you bros did enjoy the video, then please drop a big fat like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications. I'm going to catch you bros in the next one. Bye bye.